with it. <laughs> yeah, they did the best they could. We did the best we could, man, here with this with this Wi-Fi. So, and I'm sorry, this Wi-Fi. This is online, so. It'll be a real shame if like you lose a match on a Wi-Fi tournament because you don't have a higher speed than your opponent. That's kind of yeah. sad if you think about it that way. But anyways, let's get on to the match. Yeah. I'm curious. I know Joker. Joker has like all the speed to you know deal with Zelda. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I wonder how much uh, Joker's own projectiles are going to be able to play a factor when the knight is, is in play. He also has the uh, he also has Arsene counter to to use as a reflector of his own if he decides to use the knight. That's the thing too about Sharp and Ven specifically here, and how they will both handle each other. Usually, you will see Ven set up Knight so once he can get a like not just a reaction, but things like a grab or a trap or a proper one, and then theoretically Joker would go for for opportunities like counter. But Whoa. that double back air off the stage, man, is definitely powerful. It doesn't even have to worry about the situations. That was Let's just so let these two insane. play it out. He just threw three back airs in a row, and like Ven couldn't do anything. I think they yeah. even tried to use the invincibility frames of the neutral B to get past that, but Sharp didn't care about any of it. But there's a sweet spot. Only taking 19%. Not too bad. Ooh, great punish. Yeah, Sharp's very aware of that panic option of the neutral B up close. He's just waiting for it. Oh, no sweet spot. Wow, dash attack. <laughs> oh, wow. Even catching the DI out, still getting the sweet spot again. Oh, good oh. read. Unfortunately, not enough, though. Sharp is able to hold shield. Comes back on stage. Grab. That's going to be a wait. Yup. Nice. Finds a nice punish. And it's so hard, too, because like you might be trying to spot dodge, oh, but here's Van with the quick reversal on the recovery. Okay, Sharp still living. That. I can't believe he got that up beat that connects like that off stage. They actually did a good job of taking out a chunk of the Arsene meter, too. Yeah. All right, Joker a little less scary now, but definitely can kill without Arsene here, especially if he gets a decent edge guard. But starts going off stage a little early, and Vin's catching him with his upbeat to the ledge. Okay. Yeah, Vin likes to keep that hitbox out for the upbeat in case they uh, try to extend a little too hard at the ledge. Sharp in spite of that, though, still finding the stock there with the forward off stage. Nice using Joker's excellent movement here. Opportunity to just kind of move in and out of Zelda's range, trying to see if he can actually force Ven to be in and out of his zone. That's the thing about Joker, too. He has the speed to kind of get opportunities oh. to get a whiff punish, but Ven will take time and day to actually punish him for being off the stage here with Knight. Puts it at even stock, but not percent. Sharp definitely using that take aim to 18% on the Ven. Going back and forth. Great pivot grab. Nope. Ooh, no. Sharp, yeah, Sharp mixed up his DI this time. Last time he DI'd out and got caught by the lightning kick. This time, DI in. Oh, another pivot grab. Wow. Nice. Good adaptation from Ven. Definitely on reading that DI this time around. Sets up yeah. Knight looking for Sharp to jump here. And nice opportunity, though. Sharp holds his feet on the ground because he knows he's just going to take aim and see if he can jump out of it with a. Good patience. Good patience. You don't want to. I immediately jump out of the ledge. Yeah, he's just wa waiting for Vin to finish the forward smash. Oh, nice. Oof. Oh, no, up smash. I'm surprised. I thought that would be downer up smash for sure. But wow, Arsene still play. A lot of opportunity. Oh, there's that up B again to the ledge. Vin hasn't uh, missed the mark on that just yet. Arsene almost gone. Yeah, Ooh. that's what Vin wants to, for Arsene to be gone. Nice. But that's what Sharp wants. For Ven to come off that platform and give him the up smash. Nice catch. No arson needed. Just really, really good chase from Sharp. Nice. Applying a lot of pressure on the platform. Yeah, it's been twice too. Usually, it's really scary too when you think about it because Joker's one of those characters that can meet you up in the air for an up air or can meet you for a back air, and you're usually like trying to be cautious of how you're going to spot dodge, especially you're trying to spot dodge towards, towards center stage. And for Sharp in that particular situation, he can just read that fear that you have and then turn it into a whole stock. Yeah. 
great, great use of Joker. Like, Joker is a very versatile character. He can play very defensively. He can get in your face and like scare you a lot. And uh, Sharp's a really good player using Joker in the sense that he's very smart at mixing up the aggression and the defense for when it requires, when the situation requires. Which is why he's already up 63% right now. Definitely doing a great job of uh, bullying Ben to one side of the stage. Really good use of Joker's movement as well. Just like in and out. Also dodging a lot of these like night setups too. One thing though I'm amazed that he's not abusing is a uh, Rebel's Guard. Every time that knight gets set up, and if I'm a decent... Oh wow, you got the gun lock? That's crazy. But yeah, if I'm a decent uh, distance away from Zelda, I would, I would just be getting the free Arsene meter on that. Thing about that oh. that I was going to say is that if you're not a decent distance away in which Ven could be very aggressive, or kind of like a, a very... Yeah, he could be a very aggressive Zelda. The problem that going with that specific opportunity is that Venn can just go for a free grab because even if he does get you to go for the counter and you absorb the counter, Venn will get a grab and that can lead to even more devastating opportunities for Venn to have against you. So it's kind of like something you have to be cautiously aware of because of how aggressive Venn can be as a Zelda main. Right. That's why I said decent distance away so he can't punish you for doing it. He does have it in PS2 though. Like in specifically in PS2, you are able to put that thought into a factor and be like, okay, if I'm a de decent distance away, like I can actually just go for Rebels Guard. Man, oh, first really affair, like the, no connection. I really like the change in Sharp's play from uh, the first game to this game. He's just moving so much cleaner, making it so hard for Vin to Ooh. keep up. But, wow, the last hit of the neutral B was enough to snack that, and uh, Sharp wasn't prepared to take it. Yeah, and you have to give it a sharp two on the credit there, because if he went a little bit too lower, he wasn't going to be able to recover with Joker's Tether. It is one of the best tethers in the game, but it doesn't have all of the range. See what I'm oh. talking about here? He goes for the Rebel's Guard. He gets our send, but this is where Ven really wants to accelerate, having stage control here. Getting those reads, he knows how desperate Sharp is to come back on the stage, and that's really good for Ven in that situation here. But finally, Sharp able to come, kind of hold the stage. Ven slips through the cracks here. Knight in play. Ooh, the forward air one. He's vision for that forward air one set of. Oh, no sweet spot with the back air, unfortunately, for Vin. No, again, missing the last sweet spot opportunities. Like, 0 for 3 already. And I don't want to oh. say that the other Zelda mains are bad. It's just I see Vin using Knight as a Marvel 3 assist, and I see other Zeldas use Knight to elicit a reaction. There's kind of a small difference in that. Because the way that Ven just wants to be very aggressive and have you go into the situations where he gets what he wants from you, rather than just trying to get you to jump and get a small read, Ven really tries to push the fold with Knight. For sure. But yeah, Sharp, Sharp's awareness of the Knight a lot of times is so good that Ven can't really... Oh, wow. Nice catch. See what I'm Hi, saying? I'm like, like, but it, uh, I think in neutral, though, um, you know, Ven's trying to use the Knight to... A, Approach a lot of times, but Sharp is just out of range yeah. for that to be effective a lot of times. And oh. you talked about it well too. Sharp is using a lot of that movement that you can put in with Joker because he has that run speed, that fast fall speed, and it's really good for him in this matchup. Yeah, on top of having a great projectile of his own too, this really helps. Great yeah. punish on the neutral B there from Sharp, dragging him back down with Ooh. the up B. Speaking I of dragging him back down. hook is one of the coolest moves in the game, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is so cool. Something that you see so small in Persona 5 that it just becomes a big thing for him in this game. I think we'll see it more in uh, Scramble, though. Yeah, yeah. Which, uh, that, I'm, that I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for P5 Scramble. Finally coming out to the West sometime in February, I believe is what they said. Oh, at the corner over his Arsene. This is one of the scariest positions to be in in this entire game. <laughs> Especially when he's just facing back here. Oof. Oh, speak of the please. devil. Uh, speak of the devil. Forward air one into the back here. One of Joker's most consistent high percent combos. That was very smooth from Sharp. Finding the, pretty much threading the needle on that forward air to connect that. So now, man, Vin down 2 0. Sharp, the first game was very close, but it Sharp just looked much stronger in game two yeah well last time we saw these two play 
I can't remember if it went down to the wire, if it was in Char's favor. But I'll definitely tell you one thing, Ven isn't that far behind. There's just a little bit that Sharp has here. And I figure that it's kind of coming down to the matchup entirely. Like, Ven is definitely doing an excellent job of trying to be very pressured towards Sharp, but it's just the matchup is really difficult for Zelda. Yep, this is the difference between top tier and mid tier. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. There's only so much, you know, you can have when your skill just turns into that. It's eventually just turns into a battle of tears and you you have to lose that one at some point. I'm not trying to say it's like Borgalone conclusion just because the character is being played, but you just can't deny that uh, Sharp has a lot of options he can use. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like... At one point, it does become a battle of, like, how different there is in tiers of characters, right? Like, Ven has a lot, of, a lot of the skill here, nothing to doubt that at all, but the difference in tiers definitely will play a huge factor, ultimately. And that's what it comes down to in this 2-0 here. Ven able to actually get hit by that Aegon, and Sharp with yeah. an excellent use of that jump from the ledge. Oh, okay, I think Ven in this situation does not want to let Sharp pressure him with the Arsene too hard, but... Down air into the up air, made one tiny mistake, gave Sharp the opening he needed to get that combo, and now he's up the stock again. A sliver of Arson really putting in work. 45% almost got the oh. force match kill. Oh my goodness. This is the scary thing when Joker gets a stock lead and gets Arsene, he can just snowball so hard. Yeah, this speaking of the devil. Good character. Okay? And you said it right, Sharp. That <laughs> snowball is so huge. And you oh, think great. about Let's Venom this choice, and you think about the stage choice for both players, right? It's a small stage, so there's less space for Joker to run around and more for Ven to actually have interactions with Knight here. But it's pretty oh. much Sharp who's actually turned it around for him. Ven finally with a little bit of a breather on the flowers when sneaking out that hit. But Sharp with a big lead here, 102. Yeah, if I'm Ven, I would try to do as much work to Joker before he can get Arsene as possible. Easier said than done, of course. Especially with the way Sharp is playing right now. Oh my goodness. Drag down forward air into the down smash. No percent taken. Sharp looking so smooth with the Joker right now. Ben on his potential last stock of the winner's bracket. Oh, no invincibility here on the ledge. Oh, and he's no. just going to SD on his yeah, hate last to see it. stock. Air dodging in a horrible spot there off stage. Sharp, Sharp not even really needing to touch Vin at all. Uh, to apply the pressure there. <laughs>